All right, guys. So you guys want to know what my workouts look like. They're not crazy. Um, they're actually pretty boring. Uh, but I'll go ahead and just you know bring you along for this one. And, and they change all the time. Now, it's a Saturday morning. There's nobody in the training studio this morning. So um, I have the luxury and capability to do this. I work at a gym where there's other members. So unless someone's carrying the camera and we got copyright releases uh, signed, you know, um, and plus, I, anyway, it's just a big mess. Um, but here we are. This is what I'm doing today. I don't do this all the time, but what I have going is a glycogen um, reduction workout. So I'm doing, um, I'm going to try and do 10 sets of uh, one to two minutes. I want to accumulate 10 minutes total on Jacob's ladder over 100 feet a minute. Um, just this is a this is a volume based thing. I, I didn't feel like going 10 minutes straight over 100. So this is the beauty of kind of like cardio rest pause. Um, I'm going to take my shirt off since in the fitness industry, I know it's sad, but you know, people respond to vanity, so here we are. Um, it's not important to me, but if it gets more people to click this video, okay. There you go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get on this Jacob's Ladder. I'm not going to record the whole thing, but I'll, you'll see it, okay, over 100 feet. Then I'm going to head over to TRX since I got the video going. I figure I'll show you guys some core moves that I do. And that'll be it, so check it out. Right, so as you guys can see, that's the goal. Upper right hand corner, keep it over 100. Bottom left, it should be 100 distance and feet by the end of the minute. So there we are. So I got 109. That was my seventh minute. Um, now we're going to head over to TRX. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off with some uh, pendulums, TRX pendulum. It's a good stability exercise. The key is you got to keep your core stable. You cannot break at the hips or the waist. Your pivot point is basically your your shoulder girdle. It's always tough putting these things on. You're on your own, but here we go. Nice and slow. It's five, six, I love this exercise, seven, Eight, nine, and slow, ten. Slow that down. That's another little technique you can use is you can decelerate the return of the pendulum swing. That requires incredible core strength. Now one of my favorites is side plank. I really like this one. Check it out. So just hold it up here. Now you can pendulum out of this, but I'm just going to hold it for stability. Just want to maintain good, good side wall, side core stability. This is important for the lower back. Now put the hand here, come down to the knees, let me shift sides. Okay, right here. Good. Alright, I'm going to just... So when that exercise is easy, you know a couple things. you got good core strength, but more importantly, this is, body weight is not necessarily a, a, a detriment or deterrent to this exercise, but typically the side plank, this one, is one that I use to tell if a client is gaining weight or not, or if they're out of shape. If you can hold this all day, like this is easy, then you're at a good body weight. If it's hard, you probably can lose some weight, most of the time, not all the time. Sometimes it just could be that your core is not strong and your shoulder or girdle isn't strong enough, in which case, client has shoulder issues, I'll have him do it this way. One hand to support like that. So alright guys, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do uh, pikes. It's one of my favorite exercises to do on this. I like to go with a straight arm position. I feel like you get a lot more leverage. It's easier actually I find 
Everyone's different. Some people it may actually be harder, but let me just demonstrate. So here, that's the problem. I'm off camera. Let me see if I can angle this better. All right, so here we are, a better angle. So what I try and do is when I do this, and I can see myself right now in, this, in the camera, you don't want that. That's not, that's rounded. Straighten up. So I actually try and maintain a neutral core. You're also getting serratus anterior right here. Getting a little serratus anterior. So that's a good exercise. Um, The, the key is maintaining a neutral core. Um, make sure you don't round so much. That's something you may not get in other, uh, you, you may not hear that, but that's currently my view on that. So. All right guys, so thanks for coming along. Um, I know this workout probably wasn't inspirational. Maybe it was, I don't know. But this is the un, uh, un this is the un, this is just the truth. This is, this is how I train. I don't kill myself. Um, sometimes I work hard. Um, today I worked fairly hard, uh, enough to get the results that I want. Um, it's, I guess the way I look at it is I train smarter, not harder. So um, that's my workout. Uh, get the blood flowing, circulation, simple. That's what I did today. Uh, it'll be different or maybe I'll do a repeat workout in the future, but I just wanted to take you guys along to show you kind of my workout. It's really not that hard in terms of what I do. Um, today's not a weightlifting day. It's just kind of a conditioning cardio day. So that's what I did. Um, so anyhow, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and shoot them below. Thank you.